who I've now journeyed over to this stand with Brad Oakley. You're the boss here. Now you've got all these R2-D2s. Yeah, Astromix. So tell me all about your R2-D2 robots. Uh, well, we are uh, an international uh, builders community. It's about probably about 12,000 members joined since the year 2000. 12,000? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, as I say, it's been going about 15 yeah. years. Uh, it's probably about seven or 800 active members in the world at the moment. And we all build and share information uh, relating to building Astromex. So we've got blueprints. Uh, one guy will say that he wants to get a certain part made, and then we will uh, collaborate together to bring the price down. So how would you make one of these? Are they made out of uh, aluminium or plastic? Well, or for tin? example, this one's mine. This one's full aluminium. Uh, almost everything on it is aluminium. But we have ones like this one is almost all styrene. So it depends on your budget, your skill levels, which skills you're willing to acquire, how many tools you have, um, and basically depending on how much you want to build, uh, that brings the price down. There are some amazing wood builds that have been built from leftovers for no more than two or three hundred pounds. Uh, obviously paint is a, a cost, um, but you can spend anything from 500 to 20,000. Know, it's, uh, it's up to you as to how far you go with it really. Wow, so just tell me about your R2-D2. Right, mine is full aluminium. It does the two leg to three leg conversion. Uh, it has about 20 servos on it. Um, gosh, three or 400 LEDs all under individual control. Uh, so for example, I can do a, a Cylon impression and it will do the Cylon noise and the red lights flashing across the front. I can do Knight Rider impressions. I can do dances and Gangnam style and all that kind of thing. So Brad, what got you into this? Well, I was out playing golf, wasting all my money, as most people do on a Saturday afternoon. And after the round of golf, I thought, actually, wouldn't it be cool if R2 were following up the up the uh, fairway with the clubs and, and you know... The, hey, the trolleys, that's cool. The trolleys that look... That would be cool. They look a bit like that anyway. Yeah. So I got online when I got home, slightly knackered, and did a couple of hours research online, and found the uh, astromech.net, which is the US... Well, the international forums. And, uh, yeah... They, they found the guys building these beautiful aluminium machines and decided they wanted to be part of all of it. So how long does it take for you to make something like this? It took me uh, about two years to get enough parts to build the dome. Two years? Two years. I get fed up with that. Uh, I, I want it to be straight away. Uh, but there's so much research. There's so much research. I've had to learn all of the electronics, all of the programming, um, you know, how to uh, fix bits of metal together, drilling and tapping. Uh, there's so many skills to learn and so many things you can uh, get out of the hobby. Do you have a website? Yes, we do. The UK uh, R2D2 Builders is astromech.info and the international community is astromech.net. Brad, thank you very much indeed for having a chat with me. Thank you for chatting.